This short little video is brought to you by CADmodelingHub.com. It focuses on uh, rotational and translational visualization. Let's get started. The ability to predict or visualize how to rotate an object mentally is an acquired skill of many mechanical engineers. It requires the choosing of an axis or a coordinate system with which to rotate and translate the object. Here we have two doorstops, a gray doorstop, a red doorstop. They are identical in their shape as you can see here. They just have different orientations. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the move object command in our Siemens NX. It requires that you select the object that you want this dynamic coordinate system mounted on. And then we can begin doing our transformations our rotations and our translations. So it's pretty obvious if we want to rotate this left object and get it into an orientation of the right object, we need to rotate about the y-axis. We can either do a negative rotation or we can do a positive rotation about that axis and we need to rotate in our mind we need to rotate it 180 degrees. We're in the correct kind of orientation, we just don't have it lined up. We need to translate it in a negative x direction. We need to translate it in a positive y direction. And you can see we've shifted it a little too far in the X, so we can go back to kind of a positive Y. Now that's exactly what we should have done with our mind and, and not needed the CAD system to help us out with this rotation. So I'm going to cancel out of this command and think about it. If we look at this little orientation down here, this little coordinate system, and if we use that in our mind, we should be able to think about taking this object, rotating it about the y-axis. Once we've rotated it about the y-axis 180 degrees, it's obvious, it's obvious that we need to shift it in the x-direction and shift it in the y-direction to get it to line up with our red doorstop. Let's move on to a second object and see what we can think about. So here's our second object. These are kind of lined up above and below each other. If we want our gray object, the top one, to be the same orientation and position as the red object, how would we do that? Well again, if we look over here at our coordinate system, it should be obvious to us that we need to rotate it about the x-axis to lay it back and then we need to translate it in the y direction and x direction to uh, get the correct position. So let's try and do that. Bring up our dynamic coordinate system, select the object, and as I said, we need to rotate it about the x-axis. So if I grab this handle, I can push it back, rotating in a negative direction, 108, excuse me, 90 degrees. And once we've done that, we can, we can basically slide it along the y-axis this says negative Z and positive X 
And guess what? We need to actually shift it down a little bit in the y direction to get it on top of each other. All right. Let's move on to net yet a third example and see if we can figure it out. So here's our little example. Take just a minute and see if you can think about the kinds of rotations and translations that need to be done to arrive at this object. Do you have it figured out? Well, if I were doing it, I would rotate it about the y-axis in a positive direction, and then I would rotate it about z. So let's see if we can do that. Here's our object. We're going to rotate it about the y-axis to get our block standing up. So we're going to go 90 degrees. And now we're going to rotate it about the what used to be the z-axis. Rotate it 90 degrees. And now it's a matter of translating the object there so those three were all simple examples because you rotated them um, a full 90 or a 180 what about our fourth example? Our fourth example looks like this. And so now we need to think about rotating to something less than 90 degrees and seeing if we can figure this out. Again, let's move, bring up the move body command. Let's attach the dynamic coordinate system. And now let's think about how do we rotate this. Well, it looks to me like we need to rotate it about the z-axis. And so I'm going to begin pushing this about the z-axis. And as I do that, I can kind of position this so that it looks like it's something between 50 and... 55, but it's hard for me to actually kind of get the exact amount. So I'm going to just click on that. I'm going to actually do it kind of manual input. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to put in 53 degrees. And now that it's at 53 degrees, I'm going to select the rotation about this x-axis because I need to tip it forward. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to put in 42 degrees. And I'm going to just grab this and bring it over and see how close so that lines up pretty close to that object. All right. So that concludes our little exercise on rotation and translational visualization. Your textbook should have an entire chapter dealing with the topic of visualization. A portion of that topic, or a portion of that chapter, should deal with the topic of rotation, visualization, or translation, visualization. Hope you enjoyed this. Like us on YouTube and follow our blog. This is brought to you by cadmodelinghub.com. Thank you.